Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Coins Alert, where you can get your crypto fix. I'm your boss. Hope everyone is having a great day, folks. Today is October 30th, and tomorrow is Halloween. The election started in November, which is about seven days away. The markets are looking good. It's a great time to be living. I hope you're happy. I know I am take a look at Bitcoin right now. It looks like the crypto markets are getting closer than ever to the bull cycle. There's a lot going on in this show. The price of Bitcoin will be looked at. We're going to talk about Bitcoin's reach and where we're going. We are going to talk about Bloomberg markets and then look at a conversation with Brad Garlinghouse. Then we'll check out Tether to see what's going on since USDT just decided to print a lot of money. I also don't know where Bitcoin goes up in price. Random event? I don't think so. Let's get right to it, folks. $72,207 in Bitcoin. It has been at 1.41% for the past 24 hours. Ethereum is worth $2,669 now. It's at 1.51% right now. XRP is a mean lean 52 cents, while USDT and USDC are both 99 cents. It's in the red by 0.7% right now. The total value of all cryptocurrencies on the market is $2,452 billion. Where do we go from here? That's a good question. Don't forget that we made the movie look like it was last week. You remember that we told you the overall value of the cryptocurrency market was getting close to $25 trillion. As it turns out, the call was made, but Bitcoin Bitcoin's main goal was to go past its all-time high, which was set at the beginning of this year. After that, we'd let everyone know that the bull run has begun. BTC is now worth 72,198, and its all-time high was 73,781. We're not quite right. What do you think might happen? We should still pay attention, though, since this could still be a head fake. This might still be the fake out. I am aware that Bitcoin went over 70,000. That's the thing we needed. But Bitcoin going above the all-time high and setting a new all-time high was the important number. Remember that it's not time to go just because it gets above. There needs to be a close above it. Just pay attention. Get ready in case someone fakes out. The price did go back down and Bitcoin is still possible since the all-time high was not broken. It's time to leave if the all-time high is broken. Individuals, we will know in the next few days. Pay attention to what's going on. Bitcoin breaks the $71,000 mark, which started a flurry of election speculation. Says Bitcoin broke through 71 k on Tuesday morning, setting the tone for other big altcoins to follow. This happened a week before the U.S. elections. The track on CoinGecko shows that Bitcoin reached $71,075 after falling last week because of reports. Talk going around about a possible review into Tether. The chart is there. The election is really coming up in about a week. It's been a while since we last talked about it this the move has been on our minds we're moving it's q4 over the next few days or so we will break above the all-time high if we don't do it now it's going to happen this year bitcoin is going to lose its mind remember that the first number you should look at for the overall cryptocurrency market cap is 2.5 trillion we will aim for 3 trillion once that is broken and then we will start to push even higher it looks like everything is okay it looks great all around people this is the exact moment we've been waiting for Keith put this out there. He is like the level reached at 0.68 in Fibonacci. This has to do with Bitcoin's market cap. He goes, it's time to keep a close eye on things and see if we can. Keep up the pace of fails and then folds to all. Let's take a look at this. The 0.618 was broken as you can see. It's clear that getting to 0.71 is the goal, but any number in this box would do. If this keeps going up, Bitcoin will keep going up and some of the other coins will keep going down. The altcoins will start to take off, though, if this starts to go down again. Right now, it's a 50 slash 50 chance. We have no idea what will happen. Let's tell the truth. The box was broken into. Now, we could go even further up into this box, or we could come back out and let some altcoins run for a while before going back up into this. Personally, I believe that we should keep going up. Bitcoin is not even close. Hang done. I don't believe it's time for all season yet. I believe we see the whole 2025 season. That one will be over. In due time, Janet Yellen, the Secretary of the U.S. Treasury, told Bloomberg Markets that theft in the banking system is getting worse and worse. You don't say Janet Yellen. It's been a while since we last talked about theft in the banking system. Anthony's health, we all remember him. He worked for Ripple, which is now the head central bank. Tony still works for Ripple, I think. He used to, but he moved on. He was in charge of the central bank's work with digital currencies. 
So he thinks, what if there was a technology for an immutable ledger where all transactions are recorded forever and can be tracked that's too bad this kind of technology isn't out there and working? Yes, there is we. Understand that there is the journal it's outside. That's the ledger. It's blockchain in general. Would make this right, but here's the catch they don't want to solve the problem, because then they wouldn't be able to get away with the fraud they're doing. That's the real problem. If they wanted this problem to be solved, it could have been solved years ago. They don't want it though. They know what's going on because they do all the scams behind the scenes, right? They don't want to fix it because if they did, they would be caught and not be able to move money, wash money, or do any of the other bad things they do with money. That's how easy this is. Right now, this is Brad Garlinghouse. Bloomberg Crypto, this was just put up today. This is Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple. The... Chief legal officers of Coinbase and other companies talked to Bloomberg about the growing role of the crypto business. With the money spent on the 2024 U.S. election, pay attention. I believe we need that at the government level no matter what happens at the presidential level. We'll work with this business in a more positive way. Fintech needs to be able to make its case before it can become common in almost any field, whether it's AI or crypto. Speaking out for those people and Americans who are worried that crypto will take off in other countries and parts of the world if we don't make rules for it here in the U.S. And some stability instead of just lawsuits and never-ending court cases. Soon, Gary Gensler will no longer be able to spread fear in the crypto business. Both the Trump and Harris campaigns know that 52 million Americans want crypto to be a part of their future and that it's very important for any new government to address those worries. The good thing about the U.S. is that the markets tend to change. There is bad news the statements that are being made right now might change what the market thinks will happen in the next few weeks. Diggy good luck. The world we live in, right? It's just a crazy spot. Strangers find it funny that people are upset about the use of cryptocurrency in the elections. People are saying things like, you know who they are. There. Against crypto, against crypto, of course, their side of the party is also getting paid in crypto. There are also people who think it's great. I mean, it's not possible to win, right? No matter which side you're on, you can't win, you lose. One billion USDT was created at the Tether Bank. And all of a sudden, Bitcoin prices go up. Not a good time since Tether just broke its peg again, which makes me very worried about its safety. When other countries sell us bonds, Tether seems to buy them. Which drives up the price of Bitcoin. It's been the same since I've been in the space with Tether in 2017. Prints the right rope, Bitcoin goes up. Prints on Tether, Bitcoin goes up. That easy. There has been talk about the end of Leash for a while now. Someone said that Link is going to die. Bitcoins are going to lose value and become worthless. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. We understand how this works. If they make money or use Tether, Bitcoin goes up. This really is what's going on. Because of Tether, this is the only way that Bitcoin really pumps. There's been no change. There will be no change. Tether is not going anywhere. The markets are being rigged all the time. So is Tether really going back to Bitcoin? Who knows? No one knows. Behind the scenes, no one really knows what's going on. For one thing, though, I think the CEO of Tether should make sure he has everything crossed and all. Of his eyes dotted. After all, my man is flirting with danger and has a lot of eyes on him, right? There are a lot of eyes on him. Okay, remember tonight. 7 p.m. Eastern Time. The live show was great. The market will be talked about. We'll talk about the state of the market. I'll answer your questions live on the show and I might even open up the call in number. I'm still working on setting up my new theme. The show will air at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on TikTok, YouTube, and Twitter, and we'll be talking about Bitcoin XRP, the market conditions, and what we should be looking for. We'll talk about everything.